Hi folks, so the problem that we have here today is based off another ellipse and it is about locating a tangent from a point P that in this case is actually outside the curve. Uh, previously we've done a question where P was on the curve uh, somewhere around the circumference of the ellipse and we found a tangent that way whereas this time we have to find a tangent from a point P that is located outside of the curve. So first of all, any time you're finding a tangent with an ellipse, you have to first locate your focal points if you already haven't done so. So, locating the focal points, uh, focal points, half the major axis from the top or bottom of the minor. So, I'll just find half my major axis there, which would be that distance there. Now I go to the bottom of my minor, to cut the major axis there, and there. And that would be labeled F1. And F2. Okay, so the method for locating a uh, tangent to our ellipse from a point outside of the curve is this. Uh, first of all, you have to locate your point outside of the curve, and whichever focal point that is closest to, what we're actually going to do is we're going to create an arc from P to F2 in this case because P is closer to F2 than it is F1. So I'll take the radius on my compass from P to F2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing an arc like that. P to F2, swing an arc. Then the next step of it is, what we will do is we will take the full length of our major axis. Okay, so from vertex to vertex. That distance from there to there, the full length of our major axis. And just make sure that's right there. Yeah. And with F1, we take the full length of our major axis, plot that on F1, and I'm going to swing an arc to intersect this arc that I've previously done in two positions. So it'll cut it here, and it cuts it further up my page there. I'll actually have to, it's gone over this camera shot there. But I'll just extend that one on so you can see it. There we go. So I'll just pull that down there so you can see it better. So, based off of our ellipse, we can see that my full length of my major axis from F1 was this distance here, and it cut my previous arc from P to F2. Now, with that, those two points that I have found, I will connect that point and that point back to F1. That one back to F1 and this one also back to F1. And where those were connected back to F1, where they intersected our ellipse at this point here, and at this point here, well they will actually be two points of contact for my tangent from P. So I'll connect them through. That's one tangent, and there is the other. So that would be my tangent there, on this side, and this one is my tangent here. Okay, so that problem often comes up, uh, more so obviously in the higher level paper, um, comes up every couple of years, that type of question where you have to locate a tangent uh, to an ellipse from a point outside the curve. And it's literally, first of all, we have to locate our focal points, half the major axis by the minor axis. Then after that, the first step is, wherever your point is, whatever focal point that is closest to, you take the distance on your compass from the point to the close focal point and swing an arc. The next step is you take your distance from your major axis vertices, from here and here, the full major axis, you go to the opposite focus focal point, and you're going to swing an arc to cut your previous arc, and it cut it here and here for me in this case, depending on the position of your P. And then, at those points where I cut the arc, you're going to join it back to F1 and F1, or if it was over on this side, it might be F2 and F2, but in this case, it was F1 and F1. And where that intersects your elliptical curve here and here, that will be where you join your tangents. Uh, once again, hope you found that uh, little um, demonstration there useful. That will often come up in a higher level question, as I said, and it's just something that you would need to be aware of if you are a higher level pupil in technical graphics. Okay.
Hi folks, so the next problem we have on ellipses is another question on tangency. And unlike the last question where we had to get a tangent to an ellipse from a point outside the curve, this time we're going to get a tangent to an ellipse that is asking for a specific angle of that tangent. So in this case I'm actually just going to make up an angle off the top of my head and I'm going to come up with an angle of uh, 35 degrees maybe. So starting off, I'm actually going to just create that line there. So I'll pick a point here. Mm -hmm. And at that point, I'm going to get an angle that is 35 degrees. So let's bring up my protractor there. Put it onto the point. And at 35 degrees, be here. OK. So let's pull that down a little bit there so you can see it a bit better. So what I've done there is I have created a line now that has a 35 degree angle. That angle in there is 35 degrees. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to create a tangent that will be at 35 degrees and touch the ellipse. So obviously we know, look, if I did a little bit of sliding set squares here, just a little bit of sliding set squares. And we know that roughly that's how my tangent is going to work out, touching the outside of it. But what we have to do is we need to know the construction to be able to prove that. So to be able to do that, any time we have a tangent with ellipses, the first thing we have to do is we have to locate our focal points. So in this case, once again, I'm going to take half the major axis from the top of the minor in this case, I'll go here. Cuts there, cuts there. I have located F1 and F2, focal point 1 and 2. Okay, now the next step, what we're going to do is we are going to use our 35 degree line, our mock 35 degree line that we set up already. And I'll actually just extend it on there now to be able to create it down here. Okay, so I'll just pull that down a little bit further so you can see there. So what we have to do is we have to project up from our focal points. The first step is once we have got the mock 35 degree line, we're going to project up from our focal points F1 and F2 perpendicular to that 35 degrees. Now I could have picked something a lot easier here like a 30 degree angle and uh, it would have worked out absolutely fine. 30, 60 makes 90. But I just said for the purpose of it, I'd use a little bit of sliding set squares and you'd learn a little bit more from it as well. So. I'm going to set up on my, I'll actually use the 45 degree one here actually. I'm going to set up my long edge of my 45 degree set square on the 35 degree angle that I've created. And just by rotating around like this, I now have a perpendicular angle created. So from F1, I will project up there like that, perpendicular, and the exact same from F2. And as we can see, the angles inside in here are perpendicular. This is often the question that uh, higher level technical drawing pupils would find uh, probably the most difficult. Now, at this point, we've actually almost located our tangent, okay? But it's about proving it afterwards. Now, for those lines projected up from focal point perpendicular to our 35 degree line here and here, they actually intersected the major circle at this point here and at this point here. And where they intersect in the major circle at those points, that is actually our tangent. And as we can see there, it touches the outside of our ellipse. The problem is, uh, when we have drawn the curve, we don't know really, is it here, is it here, is it here, is it here? We're not 100% sure. So the method for actually finding the exact point of contact after that is, at this point here, right there, to the focal point one, what we're going to do is we're going to swing a semi-circle. So I will put my compass point on the outside point there where it intersected the major circle, put my pencil point on F1, and swing a semi-circle around the opposite side. And at that point right there, I'm going to connect that back to F2. And as you can see, where that goes through, 
or ellipse, okay, that is actually going to show us our point of contact. So sometimes known as POC. And I'll write in there tangent as well. And that tangent is at 35 degrees, which is parallel with the line we had up here. Okay, so that is how you would find a tangent with a given angle uh, to an ellipse. The first step was I did a mock-up angle up here, and then I located my focal points F1 and F2 by taking half the major axis from the top or bottom of the minor, and then I projected up from the focal points perpendicular to that 35 degree angle. Okay, and where that perpendicular lines went through and they cut the major circle here and here. That was two points on my tangent, and I connected them to create my tangent. To locate the actual point of contact of that tangent, from where it intersected the major circle here to the focus point one here, I set that as a radius and I swung a semicircle around, and then where I cut the opposite side, I brought that back to F2, and where it goes through my tangent and my ellipse, that is my point of contact. Uh, very kind of tricky little construction there, um, hard to get your head around, but once you've practiced it a few times with maybe different angles and maybe in different orientations, maybe down here, up here, or down to the bottom right, um, you'll, get the, you'll get the hang of it, okay? Often when they're given in questions as well, it might be an angle that we can work straight off our compasses or off our set squares with like 45 degrees or a 36 degree one, okay? Once again, hope you found that uh, useful. Uh, that's the question done there.